Do you ever find yourself trapped in a cycle of negative thoughts, where every day feels clouded by doubts and worries? How often do these thoughts seem to dictate your mood and actions, leaving you feeling stuck and unfulfilled? Imagine waking up and starting your day with a sense of dread because of a negative thought about your work. This thought lingers, affecting your entire day and making you feel anxious and unmotivated. This is a powerful example of how pervasive and impactful negative thinking can be in our daily lives. Welcome to Wisdom Woven, where we delve into transformative insights rooted in Buddhism to enhance our well-being. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more enlightening content. Your engagement helps us bring you more valuable wisdom. Negative thinking is a state of mind where our thoughts become overly critical, pessimistic, or self-defeating. These thoughts often manifest as harsh judgments about ourselves, others, or our situations. Common forms of negative thinking include self-doubt, catastrophic thinking, and generalizations that focus on the worst-case scenarios. Recognizing these patterns is the first step in addressing them. Our mental and emotional states are deeply influenced by these negative thoughts. When we dwell on negativity, our mood can shift from neutral to gloomy, impacting our interactions and overall outlook on life. This persistent negativity can drain our energy, hinder our productivity, and strain our relationships. Understanding this connection helps us realize the need for change. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in managing negative thinking. It involves paying attention to our thoughts and feelings without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of when negative thoughts arise and how they affect us. This awareness is the foundation for making meaningful changes and adopting a more balanced perspective. The impact of negative thinking extends beyond our emotions. It can also affect our professional and personal lives. In the workplace, negative thoughts can reduce our motivation creativity, and effectiveness. In personal relationships, they can lead to misunderstandings, conflicts, and dissatisfaction. Addressing these thoughts is essential for achieving a more fulfilling and harmonious life. It's crucial to confront negative thinking because it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. If we continuously think negatively, we are more likely to experience negative outcomes. By addressing these thoughts, we can break free from this cycle and foster a more positive and productive mindset. Buddhism offers valuable insights into overcoming negative thinking. It teaches that our thoughts are not permanent and that we have the power to change them through practices like meditation and self-awareness. Buddhism encourages us to cultivate compassion for ourselves and others, which helps in transforming our negative thoughts into positive actions. The goal of this series is to provide you with practical methods for overcoming negative thoughts, inspired by Buddhist teachings. We will explore techniques to shift your mindset, build resilience, and create a more positive outlook on life. This journey involves developing self-awareness and applying new strategies to manage your thoughts effectively. Awareness and self-reflection are key in this process. By regularly reflecting on your thoughts and behaviors, you can gain insights into the triggers of your negativity and work towards replacing them with more constructive thoughts. This ongoing practice is essential for long-term change. In the upcoming parts of this series, we will dive deeper into the nature of negative thoughts, explore Buddhist perspectives, and provide actionable strategies for transformation. Each segment will offer practical advice and insights to help you on your journey to a more positive and fulfilling life. As we embark on this journey together, remember that change is possible. With the right tools and mindset, you can overcome negative thinking and embrace a more positive way of living. Let's take this first step towards transformation and make a commitment to improving our mental and emotional well-being. We aim for 1,000 likes on this video to show that you're ready for a positive change. Your support is crucial in helping us continue to provide valuable content. Thank you for joining us on this path to wisdom and transformation. Lesson 1. The Nature of Negative Thoughts Imagine waking up and feeling overwhelmed by a sense of dread, even before the day begins. This feeling often stems from negative thoughts, which can creep into our minds and influence our entire day. 
But what exactly are negative thoughts and where do they come from? Negative thoughts are like uninvited guests at a party. They show up without warning and can disrupt the otherwise pleasant environment of our minds. These thoughts often arise from specific triggers, such as stressful situations, past experiences, or even certain people. For instance, you might have a nagging thought that you're not good enough at your job, even though there's no concrete evidence to support it. Understanding the nature of negative thinking involves looking at its origins. Often, these thoughts are rooted in fear, insecurity, or unresolved issues. They can also be influenced by societal pressures and personal expectations. When we experience setbacks or criticism, our minds might latch onto negative thoughts, reinforcing a cycle of doubt and anxiety. One common pattern of negative thinking is all-or-nothing thinking. This is when we view situations in extremes. Everything is either perfect or a complete disaster. For example, if you make a small mistake at work, you might think, I'm terrible at my job, rather than recognizing that everyone makes mistakes. Another pattern is catastrophizing, where we imagine the worst possible outcome. If you're late for a meeting, you might spiral into thoughts like, this will ruin my entire career, even though the actual consequences might be minor. Negative thoughts can also be persistent and automatic. They often pop up without us even realizing it. For instance, you might have a recurring thought that you're not attractive, which affects your self-esteem and confidence. These automatic thoughts can become so ingrained that they seem like an undeniable truth, even when they're not based on reality. Recognizing these patterns is the first step in addressing negative thinking. By becoming aware of how and when these thoughts arise, you can start to challenge them and change your response. This process is crucial because our thoughts significantly impact our emotions and behaviors. When negative thoughts dominate, they can cloud our judgment and skew our perception of reality. This can lead to feelings of hopelessness or frustration, making it difficult to see positive aspects of our lives. For example, if you constantly think you're failing at everything, you might miss out on the successes and achievements you've actually accomplished. Understanding that negative thoughts are not always a reflection of reality can be empowering. It helps to remember that these thoughts are just mental patterns we've developed over time and that they can be changed. By challenging and reframing these thoughts, we can begin to break free from their influence. It's also important to consider how our environment contributes to negative thinking. For instance, being surrounded by negative people or consuming distressing news can reinforce our own negative thought patterns. Creating a more positive and supportive environment can help reduce the impact of these thoughts. The journey to overcoming negative thinking starts with acknowledging its presence and understanding its nature. By doing so, we can begin to develop strategies to address and transform these thoughts, paving the way for a more positive and balanced mindset. This exploration of the nature of negative thoughts is just the beginning. As we move forward, we'll delve into how Buddhism provides tools and perspectives to manage and overcome these mental obstacles. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate negative thoughts entirely, but to learn how to manage them effectively and foster a more positive and resilient mindset. Lesson 2 Buddhism's Perspective on Negative Thinking Ever found yourself caught in a storm of negative thoughts that just won't go away? It's like being stuck in a relentless cycle, where one negative thought triggers another, dragging you down further. This constant negativity isn't just a passing cloud. It's a heavy weight that affects how we live, think, and feel. Buddhism offers profound insights into why we experience these negative thoughts and how we can address them. Buddhism teaches that negative thinking originates from our attachments and desires. According to Buddhist philosophy, we often cling to things we cannot control, like our expectations, judgments, and fears. These attachments fuel our negative thoughts, making them seem more powerful and pervasive than they truly are. Consider the analogy of a mirror covered in dust. If we look at ourselves through this dusty mirror, we see a distorted image. Similarly, our negative thoughts obscure our true self and the clarity of our mind. The dust represents our attachments and desires that cloud our perception, 
making it difficult to see things as they really are. One key Buddhist concept is mental purification. This idea involves clearing away the mental clutter that clouds our judgment and fosters negativity. Just as cleaning a dirty mirror reveals a clear reflection, mental purification helps us see our thoughts and emotions more clearly, allowing us to address them more effectively. Meditation plays a crucial role in this process. Through regular meditation, we can observe our thoughts without becoming entangled in them. This practice allows us to recognize negative thoughts for what they are, temporary and not necessarily reflective of our true nature. By doing so, we gradually reduce their power over us. Buddhism also emphasizes the importance of mindfulness. Mindfulness is about being fully present and aware of our thoughts and feelings without judgment. When we are mindful, we can catch negative thoughts early and choose not to engage with them. This awareness is like having a gentle guide that helps us navigate through the storm of negativity. The practice of compassion is another essential aspect. Buddhism teaches that by cultivating compassion for ourselves and others, we can soften our negative thoughts and replace them with kindness. This shift in perspective helps dissolve the harshness of negative thinking and fosters a more positive and loving mindset. Furthermore, understanding impermanence is key. In Buddhism, everything is seen as temporary, including our thoughts and emotions. By acknowledging that negative thoughts are fleeting and not permanent parts of who we are, we can diminish their hold on us. This understanding encourages a more detached and balanced approach to our mental states. Buddhist teachings also highlight the importance of self-awareness. By becoming more aware of our habitual thought patterns and emotional responses, we can better understand the root causes of our negativity. This self-awareness is crucial for making conscious changes and fostering a more positive mental environment. In addition, Buddhism offers practical tools for transforming negative thoughts. Techniques such as loving-kindness meditation and gratitude practices help shift our focus from negativity to positive aspects of life. These practices nurture a more optimistic outlook and gradually replace negative thought patterns with more constructive ones. Ultimately, Buddhism encourages us to view negative thinking as an opportunity for growth rather than a personal failure. By understanding and addressing our negative thoughts through the lens of Buddhist philosophy, we can embark on a journey toward mental clarity and emotional well-being. This perspective transforms our approach to negativity, turning it into a stepping stone for personal development. By integrating these Buddhist principles into our daily lives, we can begin to see significant changes in how we handle negative thoughts. This shift not only enhances our mental clarity, but also fosters a deeper sense of peace and fulfillment. Embracing Buddhism's perspective on negative thinking provides us with valuable tools for navigating the complexities of our inner world, ultimately leading us toward a more balanced and positive life. Lesson 3. The Impact of Negative Thoughts on Life have you ever noticed how a single negative thought can cast a shadow over your entire day? It's as if one small storm cloud turns a sunny sky gray, affecting everything in its path. Negative thinking isn't just a fleeting moment. It has the power to change how we interact with the world around us. Imagine going to work with a nagging thought that you're not good enough. This constant self-doubt seeps into your interactions, making you more withdrawn or defensive. Your colleagues might sense this change, and what started as a single negative thought can now influence your work environment and relationships. When you're stuck in a cycle of negative thinking, your relationships also take a hit. The negativity you carry can lead to misunderstandings, arguments, and a general sense of distance between you and those you care about. Friends and family may feel frustrated by your constant complaints or negativity, which strains these vital connections. Your well-being is also at risk. Persistent negative thoughts can cause stress, anxiety, and even depression. It's like carrying a heavy weight that never lifts. This emotional burden can affect your health, leading to fatigue and a decrease in your overall quality of life. Think about how a negative thought about your appearance might influence your confidence. If you constantly criticize yourself, it becomes harder to face others with a smile or engage in social activities. The more you focus on perceived flaws, 
the more you avoid situations that might boost your confidence. At work, negative thinking can make even the smallest tasks seem daunting. You might procrastinate or avoid taking on new challenges because you're convinced you'll fail. This self-fulfilling prophecy can stunt your career growth and professional satisfaction. The impact of negative thoughts doesn't stop at work or home. It affects your overall outlook on life. If you're constantly focusing on what's wrong, it's hard to see what's going right. This skewed perspective can make life feel like a series of obstacles rather than opportunities for growth and joy. Consider how persistent negativity affects your problem-solving skills. When you're stuck in a negative mindset, it's challenging to think creatively or approach problems with a positive attitude. This limitation can prevent you from finding effective solutions and seizing new opportunities. Your social interactions also suffer. Negative thinking can make you more critical of others, leading to strained relationships and fewer social connections. People are drawn to positive energy, and if you constantly emit negativity, you might find yourself isolated. The ripple effect of negative thoughts extends to your overall happiness. When you're constantly focused on what's wrong, it's hard to appreciate the good things in life. This imbalance can lead to chronic dissatisfaction and a diminished sense of joy. In essence, negative thinking acts like a filter through which you view the world. It colors every experience and interaction, making it harder to enjoy life's moments and appreciate the positive aspects. To break this cycle, it's essential to recognize the impact of negative thoughts on your life. Understanding this connection can motivate you to seek change and adopt healthier ways of thinking. By addressing negative thoughts and their effects, you can start to reclaim control over your mental and emotional well-being. This change doesn't happen overnight, but being aware of the impact is the first step towards a more positive and fulfilling life. As we move forward, consider how changing your thought patterns might improve your relationships, work, and overall happiness. The journey to overcoming negative thinking is personal, but recognizing its effects on your life is a crucial starting point. Lesson 4. Recognizing and Acknowledging Negative Thoughts Have you ever caught yourself spiraling into a sea of negative thoughts and wondered how to break free? Imagine you're at work and a small mistake feels like a monumental failure. The trick is to recognize these thoughts before they overwhelm you. Recognizing negative thoughts starts with awareness. Just as we often check the weather before heading out, we should also check our minds for negativity. Awareness is the first step in shifting our mindset. When you notice a negative thought, pause and observe it without judgment. Think of your mind as a busy street. Negative thoughts are like traffic jams. By acknowledging them, you're not adding to the congestion but simply letting them pass. For instance, if you think, I'm not good enough, Notice this thought as it arises. Acknowledging negative thoughts doesn't mean you have to agree with them. It's about understanding that these thoughts are just passing through, not defining who you are. It's like observing clouds in the sky. They move on eventually. To identify negative thoughts, try to catch them as they arise. Ask yourself, is this thought helping me? If it's not, it's a signal to address it. Being mindful of your inner dialogue helps you become aware of patterns and triggers. Once you identify a negative thought, label it. Simple labels like self-doubt or criticism can help you detach from it. For example, if you think, I'm terrible at this, label it as self-criticism. This labeling technique helps in recognizing these thoughts as separate from yourself. Practice self-compassion as you acknowledge these thoughts. Instead of harsh self-judgment, respond with kindness. Remember, everyone experiences negative thoughts. It's part of being human. Consider keeping a journal to track your negative thoughts and their triggers. This practice helps you see patterns and gain insights into your thought processes. For example, you might notice that stressful days lead to more self-critical thoughts. When you recognize a negative thought, take a moment to breathe deeply and shift your focus. Simple breathing exercises can help clear your mind and reduce the intensity of negative thinking. Visualize your negative thoughts as clouds drifting away. Imagine them floating off into the distance, 
leaving you with a clearer, calmer mind. This visualization can make it easier to let go of negativity. Engage in mindful activities that help you stay grounded. Activities like walking in nature or practicing yoga can help you stay present and aware of your thoughts. Remember, acknowledging negative thoughts is not about suppression but about understanding. By accepting them as part of your mental landscape, you can start to transform them. Create a positive affirmation to counteract common negative thoughts. For instance, if you frequently think, I'm not worthy, counter it with, I am deserving of love and respect. Discuss your negative thoughts with a trusted friend or therapist. Sometimes, sharing these thoughts can provide new perspectives and reduce their power over you. Practice gratitude to shift your focus from negativity to positivity. Reflect on what you're thankful for, even during challenging times. This practice helps to reframe your mindset. Challenge your negative thoughts by asking yourself if they are based on facts or assumptions. Often, negative thoughts are exaggerated or untrue. Set aside time each day to practice mindfulness. This regular practice helps you become more aware of your thoughts and better at managing them. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Pursuing hobbies or interests can create positive experiences that counterbalance negative thoughts. Visualize a positive outcome in challenging situations. Instead of dwelling on potential failures, focus on successful scenarios. This shift in perspective can reduce anxiety and negativity. Recognize that acknowledging negative thoughts is a step towards mental clarity and well-being. It's a practice of self-awareness and self-care. By understanding and observing your thoughts without judgment, you pave the way for a more positive mindset. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate negative thoughts but to manage them effectively. Through practice and patience, you can transform your relationship with negative thinking. Each small step you take in recognizing and acknowledging these thoughts brings you closer to a more balanced and peaceful state of mind. Lesson 5 Techniques for Mindfulness and Awareness Imagine sitting in a bustling cafe, surrounded by noise and chaos, yet feeling a serene calm within yourself. This calm isn't magic, it's the result of mindfulness, a practice that helps you navigate life storms with a clear mind. Mindfulness is like a mental anchor that keeps you grounded amidst the turbulence of negative thoughts. It starts with a simple practice, paying attention to your breath. When you focus on each inhale and exhale, you create a space between yourself and your thoughts, giving you the power to manage them effectively. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to practice mindful breathing. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and take deep, slow breaths. As you breathe in, imagine drawing in calmness, and as you breathe out, release tension and negativity. This simple exercise can shift your focus away from overwhelming thoughts and bring clarity. Another effective technique is mindful observation. This involves paying close attention to the sights, sounds, and sensations around you. For example, while walking, notice the texture of the ground beneath your feet, the colors of the environment, and the sounds of nature. This practice helps you stay present and reduces the grip of negative thoughts. Journaling is another powerful tool. By writing down your thoughts and feelings, you can externalize your mental clutter. This process helps you see patterns and triggers for negative thinking, allowing you to address them with greater awareness and understanding. Incorporating mindfulness into daily activities can also make a big difference. For instance, while eating, focus on the taste, texture, and aroma of your food. This practice not only enhances your dining experience, but also helps keep your mind anchored in the present moment. Body scan meditation is another technique to consider. Lie down in a comfortable position and mentally scan your body from head to toe. Pay attention to any areas of tension or discomfort. By acknowledging these sensations, you can release physical and mental stress more effectively. Developing a mindfulness routine involves consistency. Set reminders throughout the day to pause and take a few mindful breaths or observe your surroundings. These small moments of mindfulness can accumulate, leading to significant improvements in your overall mental state. 
Mindfulness can also be practiced through movement. Yoga and Tai Chi, for example, combine physical exercise with mindful awareness. These practices help harmonize your body and mind, making it easier to manage negative thoughts and emotions. As you become more familiar with mindfulness, you might notice a change in how you react to negative situations. By staying present and observing your thoughts without judgment, you can respond with greater calm and clarity. Remember, the goal of mindfulness is not to eliminate negative thoughts but to change your relationship with them. Instead of letting these thoughts control you, mindfulness helps you observe them without getting entangled. Finally, be patient with yourself. Developing a mindfulness practice takes time and effort. Celebrate small victories and acknowledge your progress along the way. Every moment of mindfulness is a step towards a more peaceful and balanced mind. Incorporating these mindfulness techniques into your daily routine can transform how you handle negative thoughts. By creating space between your thoughts and your reactions, you build resilience and clarity. With each mindful breath and moment of observation, you're strengthening your ability to manage negativity. Embrace these practices and notice how they enhance your mental and emotional well-being. By committing to mindfulness, you're not just managing negative thoughts, you're reshaping your entire approach to life. This shift can lead to a more fulfilling and harmonious existence, free from the relentless grip of negativity. Lesson 6. Cultivating Positive Thinking Through Meditation Imagine starting your day with a sense of calm and positivity, no matter what challenges lie ahead. This is the power of meditation, a simple practice that can transform your outlook on life. When we embrace meditation, we invite a new perspective that shifts our focus from negativity to a more balanced and positive mindset. Meditation isn't just for monks or spiritual seekers. It's a practical tool that anyone can use to improve their mental well-being. When we meditate, we give our minds a break from the constant chatter and stress that can cloud our thinking. This pause allows us to reset and approach life with a clearer, more positive attitude. One of the most accessible meditation techniques is mindful breathing. By paying attention to our breath, we anchor ourselves in the present moment. This practice helps us detach from negative thoughts and emotions that may be swirling around in our minds. As we focus on each inhale and exhale, we create a space where positivity can grow. Another effective method is loving-kindness meditation. This practice involves sending positive thoughts and wishes to ourselves and others. It starts with focusing on oneself, cultivating a sense of self-love and acceptance. Then, we extend these positive feelings to loved ones, acquaintances, and even those we find challenging. Over time, this practice nurtures a more compassionate and positive mindset. Guided meditations are also a great way to start. They often come in the form of audio or video recordings that lead you through relaxation and visualization exercises. These guided sessions can help you focus on positive affirmations and visualizations, making it easier to shift your mindset from negativity to positivity. As you incorporate meditation into your routine, you'll notice a change in how you respond to daily stressors. What once seemed overwhelming might now be seen as manageable challenges. Meditation helps us develop a buffer against negativity, allowing us to approach situations with a more balanced and positive outlook. Creating a meditation space at home can enhance your practice. This doesn't need to be elaborate. Just a quiet corner with a comfortable seat and minimal distractions can be enough. Having a dedicated space reinforces the habit of meditation and makes it easier to incorporate into your daily routine. Consistency is key. Even a few minutes of meditation each day can make a significant difference. By setting aside time each day to meditate, you reinforce the positive changes in your mindset and make them a permanent part of your life. It's important to remember that meditation is a journey, not a destination. You might not experience instant results, but with regular practice, you'll gradually notice a shift in your thought patterns. This gradual transformation is a sign that the practice is working and integrating into your life. Incorporating mindfulness into everyday activities is another way to extend the benefits of meditation. Whether you're eating, walking, or simply sitting, bring your attention to the present moment. 
This practice helps you stay grounded and reduces the tendency for negative thinking to take over. Meditation also teaches us to observe our thoughts without judgment. Instead of getting caught up in negative thinking, we learn to notice it, acknowledge it, and let it pass. This skill is invaluable in maintaining a positive outlook, as it prevents us from getting overwhelmed by negative emotions. Sharing your meditation journey with others can also be beneficial. Joining a meditation group or discussing your experiences with friends can provide support and encouragement. It's a reminder that you're not alone in your quest for a more positive mindset. Ultimately, the goal of meditation is to cultivate a sense of inner peace and positivity that extends into all areas of your life. By consistently practicing meditation, you're not just addressing negative thoughts. You're building a foundation for a more positive and fulfilling life. So, if you're feeling weighed down by negative thinking, consider giving meditation a try. It's a simple, accessible practice that can lead to profound changes in your mindset and overall well-being. Embrace this practice and watch as your outlook on life transforms for the better. Meditation isn't a quick fix, but it's a powerful tool that can help you navigate life with a positive mindset. Start small, stay consistent, and enjoy the journey towards a more positive and balanced you. Lesson 7. Transforming Negative Thoughts into Positive Actions Imagine your mind as a garden, where negative thoughts are like weeds threatening to overtake the beautiful flowers you've worked so hard to cultivate. Turning these negative thoughts into positive actions is like pulling out those weeds and nurturing the flowers instead. This transformation doesn't happen overnight, but with a few simple strategies, you can begin to shift your mindset from one of negativity to one of positivity and growth. When a negative thought crops up, instead of letting it fester, recognize it as an opportunity for change. For instance, if you think, I always mess things up, reframe it as, I can learn from my mistakes and improve. This shift in perspective is the first step toward positive action. It's about replacing self-criticism with self-compassion and understanding that errors are part of the learning process. Another effective strategy is setting small, achievable goals. When overwhelmed by negative thoughts, breaking down tasks into manageable steps can help. If you're dreading a big project at work, focus on completing one small part at a time. Each small victory can boost your confidence and turn a negative spiral into a series of positive accomplishments. Engaging in physical activity can also help turn negative thoughts into positive actions. Exercise releases endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Whether it's a brisk walk, a workout at the gym, or even dancing to your favorite song, getting your body moving helps to break the cycle of negativity and replaces it with a sense of achievement and well-being. Another approach is to practice gratitude. When negative thoughts arise, take a moment to list things you're thankful for. This practice can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's going well in your life. By acknowledging and appreciating the positives, you gradually train your mind to dwell less on negativity and more on what brings you joy. Connecting with others can also be a powerful way to turn negative thoughts into positive actions. Share your feelings with a trusted friend or family member. Sometimes, Simply talking things through can provide new perspectives and turn your focus toward solutions rather than problems. It's also helpful to replace negative self-talk with affirmations. Create positive statements about yourself and repeat them regularly. For instance, if you often think, I'm not good enough, counter it with, I am capable and worthy of success. Over time, these affirmations can rewire your brain to focus on your strengths and potential. Another effective method is to engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. Pursue hobbies or interests that make you happy. When you're involved in something you love, negative thoughts take a back seat as you immerse yourself in activities that provide satisfaction and a sense of purpose. Practicing mindfulness can also play a crucial role in transforming negative thoughts into positive actions. By staying present and observing your thoughts without judgment, you gain better control over your reactions. This awareness helps you make conscious choices about how to respond to negativity and turn it into productive energy. Reflect on past successes and remind yourself of your achievements. 
When faced with negativity, recall times when you overcame challenges and succeeded. This reflection can boost your confidence and remind you that you have the ability to turn situations around. Creating a supportive environment is essential for maintaining positivity. Surround yourself with people who uplift and encourage you. Their positive influence can help you stay focused on constructive actions rather than being bogged down by negativity. Developing a routine that includes self-care can also aid in transforming negative thoughts. Incorporate practices such as meditation, journaling, or relaxation techniques into your daily life. These routines provide a foundation for emotional stability and help counteract negative thought patterns. Setting clear intentions and visualizing positive outcomes can be powerful tools. Imagine yourself achieving your goals and experiencing success. Visualization helps create a mental blueprint for positive action and can motivate you to take the necessary steps to make it a reality. Remember that change takes time. Be patient with yourself as you work on transforming negative thoughts into positive actions. Celebrate small wins along the way and acknowledge your progress. Each step forward is a victory in itself and contributes to your overall growth. By implementing these strategies, you can begin to transform negative thoughts into positive actions paving the way for a more fulfilling and joyful life. The key is to remain consistent and committed to the process, knowing that every positive action you take moves you closer to a more positive mindset. Turning negative thoughts into constructive actions is a journey of self-discovery and growth. Embrace this journey with an open heart and a willingness to change. As you cultivate positive actions, you'll find that your outlook on life begins to shift bringing more positivity and fulfillment into your daily experiences. In this journey, it's important to remember that setbacks are part of the process. Instead of letting them derail your progress, view them as learning opportunities. Each challenge you overcome strengthens your ability to turn negativity into positivity. Ultimately, transforming negative thoughts into positive actions is about taking control of your mindset and directing it toward constructive outcomes. With dedication and practice, you can create a more positive and fulfilling life, one action at a time. Lesson 8. The Role of Compassion and Self-Kindness Imagine waking up each morning, only to be met with a harsh inner critic. This critic constantly reminds you of every mistake and flaw, making it nearly impossible to start the day with a positive mindset. What if, instead of criticism, you could offer yourself kindness and understanding? The journey to overcoming negative thinking often begins with how we treat ourselves. Self-compassion is like a warm hug for your soul. When you practice it, you allow yourself to be imperfect, acknowledging that everyone makes mistakes. Instead of harsh judgment, you offer yourself support and care. This shift in attitude can transform how you handle negative thoughts, making it easier to let them go. Think of compassion as a gentle breeze that soothes a stormy sea. When you're kind to yourself, you calm the turbulent waves of negative thinking. This calmness helps you approach challenges with a clearer mind and a more positive outlook. Self-kindness is about recognizing that you deserve the same care and understanding that you would offer to a friend. Imagine a friend who's feeling down. You would comfort them and offer encouragement. In the same way, treating yourself with kindness can uplift your spirits and help you face negative thoughts with resilience. In Buddhism, compassion isn't just for others. It's also essential for self-growth. The Buddha taught that to cultivate a peaceful mind, one must practice loving kindness towards oneself. This practice isn't about ignoring your flaws, but accepting them with compassion and working towards self-improvement gently. When you adopt a mindset of self-compassion, you start to see your negative thoughts as temporary clouds passing through the sky. Instead of letting them block the sun, you understand that they will pass, and you can remain focused on the positive aspects of your life. Another key aspect of self-compassion is understanding that you are not alone in your struggles. Everyone experiences challenges and setbacks. By recognizing this shared human experience, you can offer yourself empathy and kindness, knowing that your difficulties are part of the universal journey of growth. It's also important to remember that self-kindness is not about indulgence. 
is about creating a supportive inner environment where you can heal and grow. Just as a nurturing garden requires care to flourish, your mind needs kindness to thrive. Start by incorporating small acts of self-kindness into your daily routine. This might be taking a few minutes each day to practice positive affirmations or simply acknowledging your achievements, no matter how small. These practices can gradually shift your mindset from negativity to a more balanced and positive outlook. Over time, practicing self-compassion becomes a habit. This habit helps you build resilience against negative thoughts and fosters a more loving relationship with yourself. As you continue to grow in self-kindness, you'll find that your ability to manage and overcome negative thinking improves significantly. When you're kind to yourself, you also model this behavior for others. Your compassion can inspire those around you to treat themselves with the same kindness, creating a ripple effect of positivity and understanding. In conclusion, Self-compassion and kindness are powerful tools in the journey to overcoming negative thinking. By treating yourself with the same love and support you offer to others, you create a foundation for a more positive and resilient mindset. Embrace self-kindness and watch as it transforms your inner world, making it a more peaceful and uplifting place. This approach helps in addressing negative thoughts more effectively, allowing you to move forward with a clearer, and more positive perspective on life. Lesson nine, overcoming obstacles in the journey to positivity. Have you ever set out to adopt a positive mindset only to find that life's challenges seem to pull you back into negativity? It's a common struggle to maintain optimism when faced with setbacks. Imagine starting your day with high hopes only to encounter unexpected difficulties that derail your mood. How do you stay positive amidst such trials? The path to positivity is often strewn with obstacles that can seem insurmountable. These hurdles, whether they are external events or internal doubts, can make it difficult to keep a positive outlook. But understanding and overcoming these challenges is key to sustaining a positive mindset. One major obstacle is the habit of negative self-talk. We can be our harshest critics, doubting our abilities and second-guessing our decisions. This inner dialogue can be a powerful force that undermines our efforts to stay positive. To counteract this, it's crucial to practice self-compassion and recognize the value in our own achievements, no matter how small. Another challenge is dealing with external negativity, such as unsupportive friends or stressful work environments. These external factors can amplify our negative thoughts and make positivity feel like a distant goal. Setting boundaries and finding supportive communities can help buffer against these external pressures. Time management is also a significant factor. When we're overwhelmed with tasks and responsibilities, it's easy to slip into a negative mindset. Prioritizing self-care and setting realistic goals can help manage stress and maintain a positive outlook. Perfectionism can be a silent saboteur of positivity. When we hold ourselves to impossibly high standards, every minor setback feels like a major failure. Embracing the idea that perfection is unattainable and focusing on progress instead of perfection can alleviate this burden. Facing change and uncertainty can test our commitment to positivity. The unknown often brings anxiety and fear, making it hard to stay optimistic. Developing resilience and adaptability can help us navigate these periods with a more positive perspective. Additionally, past failures can cast a long shadow over our present efforts. It's important to acknowledge past setbacks without letting them define our current mindset. Learning from past experiences and seeing them as opportunities for growth can help shift our focus back to a positive path. Balancing optimism with realism is another challenge. While it's essential to maintain a positive attitude, it's equally important to address problems and take practical steps to solve them. This balance ensures that our positivity is grounded in reality and not just wishful thinking. Sometimes the journey to positivity feels lonely. It can be disheartening when those around us don't share our optimistic outlook. Finding like-minded individuals and creating a supportive network can provide encouragement and reinforce our positive mindset. Emotional fatigue from continuous effort to stay positive can also be a challenge. It's important to allow ourselves moments of rest and rejuvenation to avoid burnout. 
Self-care practices such as mindfulness and relaxation techniques can recharge our emotional reserves. Lastly, maintaining a positive mindset requires consistent effort and commitment. It's a daily practice that involves staying aware of our thoughts and making conscious choices to nurture positivity. Celebrating small victories along the way can provide motivation and remind us of the progress we're making. In conclusion, overcoming obstacles on the journey to positivity involves addressing internal and external challenges, managing expectations, and finding support. By recognizing and tackling these hurdles, we can maintain a positive mindset and continue moving forward with resilience and hope. Lesson 10 Maintaining a Positive Mindset Daily Practices Imagine waking up every day with a sense of purpose and joy, even when life throws challenges your way. It sounds ideal, doesn't it? Maintaining a positive mindset isn't just a fleeting dream. It's a daily practice that anyone can achieve. But how do we keep that positivity alive amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life? The secret lies in integrating simple, practical habits into your routine that foster a positive outlook. Just as we brush our teeth daily to maintain oral hygiene, nurturing a positive mindset requires consistent, small efforts. These daily practices help keep negativity at bay and strengthen our resilience. Start your day with a positive affirmation. It might sound basic, but setting a positive tone in the morning can significantly influence your entire day. Try saying something encouraging to yourself, like, today is a new opportunity to create joy and success. This simple act can shift your mindset from one of apprehension to one of anticipation. Next, incorporate a moment of gratitude into your routine. Taking a few minutes each day to reflect on what you're thankful for can have a profound impact on your overall mood. Whether it's appreciating the warmth of the sun or the support of loved ones, acknowledging the good in your life can help counterbalance negative thoughts. Another effective practice is mindfulness meditation. Spending just 5 to 10 minutes each day focusing on your breath and being present can help calm your mind and reduce stress. Mindfulness teaches us to observe our thoughts without judgment, allowing us to let go of negativity more easily. Engaging in physical activity is also crucial. Exercise releases endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. It doesn't have to be an intense workout. Simple activities like walking, stretching, or dancing can boost your spirits and enhance your overall well-being. Additionally, surround yourself with positive influences. The people we interact with daily can impact our mindset. Seek out relationships that uplift and inspire you, and minimize time spent with those who bring negativity into your life. Positive social interactions can reinforce your own positive outlook. Journaling is another powerful tool. Writing down your thoughts and feelings can help you process and understand them better. Consider keeping a journal where you jot down positive experiences and achievements. Reviewing these entries can provide a boost when you're feeling down. Setting small, achievable goals can also contribute to a positive mindset. Each time you accomplish a goal, no matter how minor, it can enhance your sense of achievement and motivation. Break larger tasks into smaller steps and celebrate your progress along the way. Remember to be kind to yourself. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend. When you make a mistake or face a setback, remind yourself that it's part of the learning process and not a reflection of your worth. Lastly, incorporate relaxation techniques into your daily routine. Whether it's reading a book, listening to soothing music, or taking a warm bath, find activities that help you unwind and recharge. Creating moments of relaxation amidst a busy schedule can help maintain your positivity. By consistently practicing these habits, you create a foundation for a more positive mindset. It's not about eliminating negative thoughts entirely, but rather about creating a balanced approach where positivity thrives. Embrace these practices as part of your daily routine and watch how your outlook transforms over time. Maintaining a positive mindset is like nurturing a garden. It requires regular care and attention. With these daily practices, you can cultivate a more joyful, resilient, and optimistic outlook on life. Remember, 
Each small step contributes to a more positive and fulfilling life. Reflection and moving forward. Have you ever looked back at a challenging journey and felt a sense of accomplishment, knowing you've grown from the experience? Reflecting on your path can offer valuable insights and inspire continued growth. In this final part of our journey, we'll revisit the core lessons we've learned about overcoming negative thinking and embrace the positive changes we've made. Throughout this video series, we've explored various aspects of negative thinking and its impact on our lives. We've learned about the nature of negative thoughts, how they arise, and how they shape our experiences. We've delved into Buddhism's perspective, understanding how mindfulness and meditation can help us transform these thoughts into positive actions. Each part of this series has aimed to guide you towards a clearer, more balanced state of mind. Reflection is more than just looking back. It's about recognizing how far you've come and celebrating your progress. Think of the small victories you've achieved along the way. Maybe you've become more aware of your negative thoughts, or perhaps you've started practicing mindfulness techniques daily. These changes, no matter how small, are steps towards a more positive mindset. Embracing the journey of personal growth means acknowledging both the highs and the lows. It's important to recognize that overcoming negative thinking is not an overnight process. It requires patience, practice, and self-compassion. By reflecting on your experiences, you gain a deeper understanding of yourself and the tools that have helped you along the way. As you move forward, remember that growth is an ongoing journey. The techniques and insights you've gained are not just for the moment, but are tools you can continue to use in your daily life. Every day is an opportunity to apply what you've learned, to reinforce positive habits, and to continue evolving. Encouraging continued personal growth involves setting realistic goals and maintaining a mindset of curiosity and openness. Challenge yourself to apply mindfulness in new situations, to deepen your meditation practice, or to engage in new activities that foster positivity. Personal development is a lifelong journey and each step you take builds upon the last. Don't forget to celebrate your achievements no matter how small. Recognize the effort you've put into changing your mindset and appreciate the progress you've made. Positive change is a continuous process, and every small victory is a testament to your commitment to personal growth. In closing, remember that the journey to erasing negative thinking is a personal one. It's about finding what works best for you and staying committed to your growth. Reflect on your experiences, continue applying the principles you've learned, and stay open to new insights and practices. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We hope this series has provided you with valuable tools and inspiration to transform your mindset. Keep moving forward with confidence and continue to weave wisdom into your life. As always, if you found this series helpful, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Wisdom Woven for more content that supports your personal growth and well-being. Your continued engagement helps us bring more valuable insights to you and others. Embrace the journey ahead with a positive outlook and let the wisdom you've gained guide you towards a brighter, more fulfilling future.